Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so, <laughs> uh, since I filmed the last vlog, I have uploaded two shorts. Um, I have plans to do the next one. Um, the only reason it's not this week, um, as I would have originally have liked, is because the only day off I have this week is literally the day before. Um, and I had my mum over for lunch and I just, I simply don't have enough time for all the work that is involved with um, creating the shorts because it does take a little bit of practicing each of the lines and then <laughs> filming and then editing and then uploading. So it, it, it does take a little bit of time to actually do um, the shorts compared to the vlog. The vlogs are a lot easier to do. Um, when you have much more limited time and I have a lot less time this week because this is Thursday and something needs to be going out tomorrow um, So I've decided to do my monthly roundup, roundup today uh, For the vlog tomorrow because to be fair we are at the end of the month anyway, so why not might as well um, so as you probably already are aware, the biggest thing that has happened this month is that I have started doing something slightly different on this channel. Um, instead of doing a weekly vlog or a mostly weekly vlog, um, I have decided to start doing shorts instead of some of the vlogs, or probably most of the vlogs. Um, as I mentioned in the last vlog that I did, which was the roundup for July, because this is August still, somehow. I keep feeling like it's September, but we are still in August. Um, so in, as I mentioned in, in that one, I don't always have an idea of what I want to talk about when I sit down to film these, and I'm getting to the point where I'm sort of struggling to sort of keep it interesting and come up with something new each time. I mentioned that I had an idea for something else that I could do on this channel, um, and the thing that I decided that I was gonna do is to do little shorts um which are essentially the dialogue from scenes from some of my books semi acted out in as much as i can act um and so far they have been quite fun to do i think they've turned out okay um considering like the limited uh, resources i have to actually do them at the moment i'm just sticking to shorts from the never eaten collection in particular Partly, um, partly because there are a lot of very character-driven moments uh, within those stories that I can sort of draw from. Um, partly because the next lot of books that I've got coming out are a spin-off from the Never Eating Collection. So, like, I, I kind of want to drum up interest in sort of both of those things at the moment um, in particular. Um, I'm not always going to exclusively stick to the Never Eating Collection. Um, as I get a little bit better in the process of doing these, um, I and as I hopefully get a few more resources and props and costume type things um, for these, um, I will hopefully be able to expand and start doing scenes from some of the other books. Um, but for now, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible as I sort of get my feet with it a little bit and try to figure out how I'm, I'm actually going to go about doing these um, more practically in the long run. Uh, so I'm trying to keep things as simple as possible, um, so I'm mostly focusing on scenes that involve the main four boys from the Never Eating Collection. Um, it doesn't, it won't necessarily have all four boys present, um, but it will just, for now, probably just be scenes which contain two or more of the four boys from Never Eating and no other characters, and then as I get a little bit more settled into doing this, that's when I'll start to bring in other elements and other characters and start looking at scenes from the other books as well that I can start bringing in and, and doing as well. But for now, for my own purposes, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, and this is how I've figured out that I can do it as simply as possible. Um, so hopefully it, it works out okay for everybody. Um, as, as I said, it is a experiment in progress, um, I think is the best way of putting it. It's very rough around the edges at this point. Every time I do it, I learn a little bit more. Um, as I said, 
this week I just didn't have a good day um, ahead of Friday for sitting down, creating the script, creating, you know, deciding on the scene, creating the script, um, then filming, well, then rehearsing, then filming, then um, editing. I mean, it, it takes takes a good couple of hours to sort of to sort of get it done. Um, and then I, as I sort of do, like, just the, like, because of, like, the editing of the script bit first and then, like, rehearsing it and then, yeah, it, it does take a good couple of hours to sort of get it done and, as I said, it's not always the easiest thing and, like, recording and re-recording and, and stuff like that. So, um, because the only day I had off before Friday this week, so I, I literally worked four days in a row, I've worked every day since Sunday, um, I did think about doing it on Saturday, um, but I wasn't feeling particularly well on Saturday, so um, all that, and I used to have my laundry going until about three o'clock in the afternoon, at which point I really wasn't, I really didn't have the energy to sort of do it, so I wasn't feeling well, and I said the washing was going as well, so it wasn't an ideal day for doing it, um, but yeah, it was, <laughs> it was very much a case of the only day that I had off um, between Saturday and Friday was today and today it's Thursday and because I had my mum coming to see me as well it's just it got to a point I was just like you know I don't really have time um to do all the work necessary to uh, create it it's very fiddly to do and the more tired I am the, the fiddlier it's going to get and I like I know I'm still sort of finding my feet and what I'm doing at the moment is very rough around the edges but I still want to do something that I feel is um of a certain standard, even though I know the certain standard is still fairly rough at this stage, I still want to sort of, you know, not not be rushing my way through the process because I don't feel like I've got time. I would rather sort of try and make it fun and make it relax for myself because I want to be able to enjoy doing it. Um, so yeah, that that's sort of like the biggest thing that I've done that month, uh, this month, and. Um, this is going to, this is sort of to give you a little bit of an idea of how I hope to go forward with it. Um, the plan is to do two to three um, shorts a month um, with roundups either side of it because I want to try and sort of only sort of film monthly roundup vlogs at the moment um, just because the monthly roundup is a little bit easier for me to sort of come up with things to talk about because I can just reflect on all the things that have happened during the month. Um, so what else can I talk about with this month? <laughs> um, work has been very busy still. Um, I managed to lose my voice again this month uh, because of the issues I get with my jaw. So that wasn't particularly fun. Um, I've also booked myself in for another tattoo. Um, it, it the, the tattoo is going to happen in September so I will talk about that properly at the in my roundup of September one um, but just for now know that I am booked in for another tattoo oh good um what else has happened this month <laughs> a lot of stuff has sort of happened in the background that you guys don't need to know about just yet um or don't need to know about at all um or it's not really stuff that I can talk about either at this stage or at all um it's again it's August has been very much one of those months where a lot has happened and a lot has not happened at the same time and some of it is stuff that is sort of like prepping for other stuff that will happen down the lines and some of it is stuff that you know is never really going to be particularly relevant to this channel um just in general uh, but yeah it's been an all right month um it feels like I've, I've worked most of the month I, it feels like I've worked more of the month than I haven't but some of that might just be because I've worked four days in a row and I'm not used to working four days in a row and I know there are people out there who are gonna go but you know everybody works four days in a row what are you complaining about I have chronic pain <laughs> I, I have very chronic pain um so for those of you who are not aware I do a four day work week um I'm a shift worker so my four day work week can include days of the weekend, uh, not just days of the week. So I quite often don't work more than three days in a row. Um, in fact, the business manager who is the one who does my schedule because I am the training manager, um, she makes sure more often than not that I'm not working more than three days in a row because she is very conscious of the fact that, you know, my body can't always maintain energy for that long. 
Um, this just happened to be one of the times where, um, because of other people being on holiday and various things like that, it was necessary for me to work more days in a row than I'm used to. Um, so although, yes, for most people, I do understand a lot of people do like a five day work week. Um, I work with people who work six days in a row before getting a day off or seven days in a row before getting a day off. And I have done that in the past, so I, I do know exactly how tiring it can be. Um, but please bear in mind that when I'm like, four days is a lot for me, I mean it's a lot for me because of the, the chronic conditions that I suffer from. Um, and it's not just me being lazy, it is it is a genuine reason why I find it a struggle um, and why having four days in a row at the start of this week, well, end of last week into the start of this week, was very tiring for me and why I sort of got to this point on Thursday where it's like, yeah, I, I, it, I technically have the time to do it, but I'm tired and I just want, I just want my life to be easy and filming a vlog and editing a vlog is a lot easier than filming and editing of uh, these shorts um, because I understand that and because I want to give myself a little bit of a break or, or break completely. <laughs> Um, I've decided that, that this is what I'm going to do this week and then I'm going to probably prep the script for the next one so it's a little bit less work um, when I when I come to, to sit down at the beginning of next week for filming of the next short but there is another short coming um, as I said they feel like they've been fairly okay so far as I said I know they're a little bit rough around the edges I am learning um, a little bit more every time I do these um, so hopefully I will get to a point where they are edited a little bit better and they feel a little bit less rough. Um, as I said, as I go forward from here, I'm hoping slowly over time, because like I do not have a lot of finances to be throwing around, um, hopefully over time I'll be able to sort of get like maybe a few props, um, maybe some other costume elements um, and stuff like that so that I can then sort of like expand and start doing other things with it and start getting a bit more complicated with it. Um, but right now I need to keep things as simple as possible. Um, I hope you guys have sort of like enjoyed what I've done so far with them um, and like I'm looking forward to seeing like what scenes I do next and stuff like that. Um, but it's just like it at the moment it's just sort of like this experimental thing that I am trying out and I want to see how it goes and yeah. Um, so yeah, that is sort of my partially summing up August, partially letting you guys know about this thing that I've started doing on the channel. If you've seen it, what do you guys think of it? If you haven't seen it, maybe go check out the two that I've already done and tell me exactly how rough around the edges they are looking. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I know, I know. Um, Alright, so with that said, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to my roundup of September when there'll be a new tattoo on my arm with any luck should be unless something drastic happens and it has to be cancelled by the end of the month should be a new tattoo on my arm which if you're worth watching the shorts you'll probably see before the end of the month <laughs> no doubt um and I'll see you guys next time see ya <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video consider checking out some of my others and if you like what you see consider liking and subscribing thanks for watching see ya